What's going on beautiful people? I'm Charlene Radlin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year! It feels good. 2021, it's feeling good so far. I can't complain. <laughs> it's been like one week in. Definitely prepare ourselves and like brace ourselves for anything that can happen because that's what 2020 taught us, right? All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that you guys actually requested, right? So I had done the review of the Revlon one in style blow dryer. If you guys haven't checked that video out first, be sure to do so. And in the comments section, you guys were like, use the smaller one. You know, Revlon has a new one, so on and so forth. I was going to order it last week and um, yeah, it no longer exists. I went on to Costco and I typed in Revlon and it literally was like, there is nothing found Revlon. So I guess they don't even sell Revlon at Costco anymore, which is crazy to me. Maybe you have to go into the store to buy it, but they don't have a Costco nearby where I am. I don't have a car, so I love you guys, but I'm not gonna go that crazy. Okay guys, while I was editing this video, I went to Costco.com so that way I can show you guys that it was no longer there, that Revlon does not exist on, on Costco anymore. Turns out, it still does. I don't know what happened because honestly, I checked for three days on a Costco site to order the other Revlon and it was not there. Now it just says that it's sold out. So maybe they brought it back and then it sold out immediately. But I wanted to let you guys know that I wasn't just bluffing and I wasn't making things up. So I wanted to put this in the video. Okay, let's just resume. So I went online and looked for an alternative and I found the Hot Tools 24 karat gold uh, one install blow dryer and I figured might as well test to see which one is better, okay? This one has the metal, just um, the Revlon, the smaller one had an actual silver. This one is gold. So, figured I'm gonna try it out. Also, crazy, they shipped it in this box. Like, like they just slapped a sticker on it and called it a day. <laughs> Although I did order it yesterday and it came today, which is insane to me. Okay, let us get started. I'm gonna just open this bad boy up see what it looks like. Wow, it's just literally just this. That's all it comes. So the price difference in this, in the Hot Tools versus the Revlon, the Revlon was like $55 and the Hot Tools is about 70. Wow, this is really pretty. Okay, right off the bat, I mean, they're pretty, they're like the same thing, basically. So when it comes to even the name, one just says Hot Tools, one says Revlon. The brush, the size of the brush, exactly the same. The top, this one is just more matte and this one is shiny, but exactly the same. So even the on and off switch are exactly the same. So I've been using this a lot actually. It's been a game changer guys in my hair routine. I gotta admit, I am pleasantly surprised and pleasantly happy with my results. Since my last video, I did cut my hair, so it is going to be a lot shorter, which actually works out because now you guys get to see what how this looks on short hair as well. Okay, so I'm going to do half of my hair with the Hot Tools and the other half with the Revlon and see how it turns out, if there's any difference whatsoever. I'm gonna do the Revlon first because I know how to use it. I've been using it for, I mean, they're exactly the same. I feel like I know how to use both of them now. I'm gonna be using the same products as I used before. I got the Smooth Cream, I got my Ox, and I got my Shine Spray. I am using, you know, I got a hairbrush. This one is by Ibiza. Love this hairbrush so, so, so much. It detangles my hair, doesn't strip it or anything like that, and my curls don't lose form, which is amazing. Got some clips? Let's jump in. So one of the things that I've actually learned from taming the roots in order to get a more sleek look when it comes to uh, the Revlon is to actually take my hair, split it in half, which actually works great for this video. And I'm going to put it in a tight-ish bun. The reason for that is because you kind of want to, I realize that when I smooth out my roots, when I brush it out, it helps to smoothen it out for the blow drying process. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start, see how much shorter my hair is, guys? It's crazy. I was supposed to do a vlog on my hair and I recorded it, I just never put it out because time. 
but I'm gonna do better this year for 2021. It's gonna happen. I'll go down the bottom of this. That's my heat protectant. I'm gonna put a little leave in conditioner. Okay, so I can't stress this enough, but you do wanna make sure when you are straightening your curly hair using the Revlon, you use it on cold air first. You do not wanna go in with warm heat, okay? The reason for that is that it will help you in maintaining that moisture in your hair and not dry it out or fry the ends of your hair. I tried it once using the low heat on my hair, just on one random piece. My hair was wiry, it immediately felt dry, and I knew that if I kept doing this, it would start the heat damage. So it is one way to kind of protect your curls. Again, any heat that you apply onto your hair when it comes to curly hair is going to damage your hair. It doesn't matter how low it is, it's going to just do that over a period of time. If you use low heat, it's gonna probably just take longer to do that, but if you use high heat and you go in with like 10 max, obviously it's going to just damage it a lot faster. This is just with cool air. As you can see, the ends are still a little bit curly, but when I bump it up to the low heat, you're gonna see what happens. Um, <laughs> the unthinkable just happened. So it started making a really weird noise. Thought maybe my hair got caught in it. And then it started to smoke. It's super hot right now, but I guess I got a faulty one because it started smoking. I was scared to get that on camera um, because I just didn't want it to like blow up on me. Um, I like went to my bathroom, maybe I, I thought maybe it was like my plug or something and I plugged it in and it started smoking. So I can't do half of my hair with the Revlon. What was I saying about 2021 being great? Starting off amazing. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to buy another one or Revlon. Hi, this one just stopped working on me. So if you're watching this video, help me out maybe. Okay, so change of plans. I'm not gonna be using the Revlon and I'm just gonna be using the Hot Tools and we're gonna see how my hair comes out. I already know how the Revlon works in my hair. I genuinely love it and I'm really sad right now because I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna plug this in now. I'm gonna do the same technique that I've been doing with the Revlon, which is cool air and low heat. And we're gonna just see how my hair comes out because the show must go on. I mean, right off the bat, it looks exactly the same impressive way that the Revlon look. Let's just do more of it and see. There's not a lot of frizz on this. Let's just speed this along since this is no longer turning into the video that I thought it was going to be. All done with cool air. Again, it's gonna be poofy because there's no heat on it. But as you can see, it got down pretty um, pretty straight considering that this is no heat. And now I'm gonna go to low. Okay, I will say this. This is changing things for me. When it comes to the root, I had a really big issue with the red block. For whatever reason, like my root would still be a little bit wavy. Again, I'm only halfway through my hair, so I don't know how the top is gonna be. That's gonna be the true test. But right here, it's, it's not wavy. You can tell that it's not wavy, it is straight. It is also not poofy. So after I use my Revlon, there were times where I had to touch it up with a hair iron, which is fine, because I use it on, on low heat, but if I don't have to do that at all, even more of a game changer. Let's continue.
yeah, I mean, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing and my roots are a lot straighter than using the Revlon. I don't know if it's the 24 karat gold or what. Let's finish up. I'm gonna take this bad boy out. Okay guys, look, I have used the Revlon now for two months, just about, and I'm telling you, my roots never once looked like this, okay? It never once looked like this. I have like, this is the worst lighting. Look at this, the one little random dot. I don't like it. It's a game changer, guys. I actually wanna see, oh, I won't even turn on now. Yeah, it's gone. Goner. We had a nice run. Actually, we didn't. It was a very short relationship and I don't know how I feel about it. Because I didn't even know you were gonna say goodbye. All right, so I really hate this one little dot. I don't know where it's from. All right, next side, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm gonna take this out. Ooh, all righty. All righty, I'm gonna do what I did last time, which is touch up my root area. So let's check it out. Okay, guys, guys, now that I'm finished, I can genuinely say that my roots are a lot straighter than when I was using the Revlon. I haven't even added any shine spray to my hair. Actually, I should do that now. Let's do that. Obviously, this hair is like very 1950s-esque and I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I love 1950s hair. It's got a lot of volume, a lot of bounce, I don't know if it's because of the 14 karat gold that it gets your hair straighter and more smooth. Like you guys, look, you can see that it's just straighter. It doesn't look like I need to go in with a straightening iron. Every single time that I've used the Revlon, I was like, I need to go in with a flat iron. Do I still love the Revlon? A thousand percent. Am I mad that it freaking broke on me? A thousand percent. Kind of reminds me of like when you use a flat iron, right? You use a flat iron, it's not gold obviously, but it's got like a ceramic, coating on it. So my thoughts are the 24 karat gold acts as a ceramic in getting your hair a lot straighter. Is it worth the $20 extra? I think if you have curlier hair like mine, then yeah, I think so, because it will cut down even on wanting to use a flat iron on your hair. The Revlon, you know, I got a lot of comments saying like, how is it with the humidity with the curly hair? Yes. Humidity plus curly hair, when you're straightening it, it will lead to frizziness. It's the same if you were to go to the hairdresser and he were to blow, he or she were to blow dry your hair out, you go out into the humidity, your hair is gonna curl. It's not gonna be like a cure-all, but it does help cut down the time 
to blow dry your hair. I had my hair straight and I went out into the city back when it was like October. The humidity was still very much the round. My hair didn't curl, right? But it got frizzy, it got poofy. So what did I have to do when I started feeling that? I just put it up into a bun and called it a day. That's what I usually do anyways when, I, when my hair starts to frizz. So I just wanna put that out there because there were a lot of comments in my last video and I wanted to clarify that. Other than those things, when it comes to the hot tools, if you haven't bought the Revlon already and you are looking to see which one would be better, hot tools or Revlon, hard to say, right? Because I love the Revlon, but again, if you have denser hair, probably go with the hot tools one. It might work out better in your favor. It is an extra 20 bucks. If you can't spare the extra $20, get the Revlon. You will still be freaking happy because I was still really happy until I tried this and I've had it for like a couple months. <laughs> don't make don't make that deter you uh, from making from picking which one you actually want. So once again, all of the products that I used in my hair, I'm going to leave for you guys in the description. If you guys have not seen the Revlon video, I urge you guys to watch it because I'm so sad that um, the <laughs> Revlon just went to sleep, basically. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so. Comment, leave some likes, give me some love, share me, share with me your thoughts on both. If you've tried both, I don't know. If you have one or the other, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys with the next one. See ya.